rest though I don't back down Leave your heart laying on the ground Tell me who who the killer now Tell me who who the killer now Hello my stars and galaxies Welcome back to my channel The Universe Tarot Or if you are new to my channel Welcome to my channel The Universe Tarot Okay And today this is a reading for Scorpio Scorpio is all about you It's all about the Scorpios today Okay now, before we get started, make sure you guys like the video, right? Hit that like button. Share the video to your friends and family, you know, so it can go out to a wider audience. Subscribe to me so we can get that 3,000 mark, right? We get in there at 3,000 mark, right? And then hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, right? Because YouTube will try to sabotage me and, you know, try to make me not get the views, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah. Just go ahead and do that. Show me some love. Um, I'm trying to think. No, that's it. No, that's all I wanted to say. Other than, you know, the stuff that you think is probably repetitive. If you guys think it's repetitive, you guys can probably skip maybe like three or four minutes into this. Um, so personal reading prices. Okay. Personal reading prices. For a one question reading, it's $15 on Cash App and $20 on PayPal. So one five on Cash App and then two zero on PayPal. Um, for a 10 minute reading, okay, it's 25 on Cash App and 30 on PayPal. For a 20 minute reading, it's 40 on Cash App and 45 on PayPal. And then for the 30 minute reading, it's 50 on Cash App and 55 on PayPal, all right? Mm. You already know, if I'm drinking coffee in the morning, you know I gotta go to work. <laughs> You know, all, 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 unless unless you guys see me in that kind of environment, I'm only going to freaking do videos in the daytime, like when the sun is out and shining through my window, or um, it's nighttime and I got, I'm getting ready to go to bed later. Those are the only two times of the day I'll do it, you know? You ain't going to see me wake up early in the morning. But, um, and then also, please remember, do not, do not, do not send me money unless you are, we have text it back and forth first, okay? That doesn't mean, oh, okay, send you money and then send you an immediate text message first, okay? Or send me a text message and then send me money for that reading that you want. No, it doesn't work like that. First, we have to talk about what, like, stuff like I need to know, like, wh who are you? What's your name? What's your situation? And what personal reading are you buying? Right? And say you're buying a half an hour one. What day do you want? Like, what day works best for you? I'll ask you a day that works best for you at this time. And if you say yes, then I'll be like, okay. All right, that's great. Send me money. Send me the payment so we can confirm your appointment. And then you send the money. Right? That's the way it's supposed to work. Don't just send me money. Okay? I just, I like, be, I like stuff like, stuff like that when it comes to other people giving me money. I like to be orderly. All right? So, then there's also membership, right? The Starlight Package, the Galaxy Package, and then the Universe Package, $2.99, $4.99, and $9.99 a month in that order, okay? There's a link in the description box below. It'll take you right to it. It'll take you right to where everything you need to see, you know? So, just keep that in mind. Um, the thing with the Universe Package, you guys do get $5 knocked off your very first personal reading. However, that is not applicable to the one question reading, okay? That's only with the 10, 20, and 30 minute reading, okay? So, just so you guys know that. You know, now see, guys, I'm giving y'all so much cheap stuff, I'm giving you guys so much discounts. Like, come on, the best you can do is donate to me, or you know what I'm saying? Like, donate to me, bro, even a dollar. Because, like, for example, if every subscriber I had gave me don't get donated one dollar to my cash app, bruh, best believe at least half of that is going to my savings. Because if I have almost 3,000 subscribers, that's almost three thousand dollars. I'm not going to lie, only half of that is going into my savings. <laughs> Everything else, I'm just going to be going on Amazon. I'm not going to spend all of it. Like, if I had half of it, and I'm not, I'm not just going to spend all of it. I'm just going to, you know, get the stuff that I always wanted, you know? You know? So, yeah. Just get the stuff I always wanted. Cause right now there's like right now there's like probably like three hundred dollars worth of stuff in my Amazon cart. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. But anyway, oh wait, you guys can't see that. But anyway, you guys got the seven of pentacles in the reverse, Scorpio. Right? 
seven of pentacles in the reverse okay you're not making an investment here okay you're supposed to be you're supposed to be doing something you're supposed to be making moves all right all right or at least that's what you told yourself all right now you're not doing that okay maybe you're procrastinating maybe you're being lazy maybe you're just maybe you just got no motivation or you just you know you have nothing to invest in maybe you but that's the that's the thing sometimes investing doesn't always mean money it just means sometimes it can also mean investing in yourself you know making sure that you're okay investing in your investing in your physical health your um, mental health emotional health spiritual health anything like that you know invest time with yourself okay it doesn't always it's not always going to mean money right but either way you're not doing that okay you're not doing that so you should try to fix that scorpio you should try to fix that and you know make more of an effort all right the devil in the reverse okay so with the devil in the reverse you're trying to release your grip from negative energy okay right you're trying to release your grip from negative energy you're trying to break away from it okay you're trying to break away from it so you'll maybe in hopes that maybe you'll feel more positive or more motivated or maybe you feel like you'll feel like you know you can do it right now you know you, again you don't feel very a lot of motivation you don't feel a lot of anything okay you don't feel a lot of anything mostly because you feel like it has a lot to do with the environment around you or the people that you hang out with or the energy that you feel on a daily basis okay right because a lot of because when we're around negative energy and it messes and it mixes up with our already neutral energy let's say neutral energy because not everyone's like walking around with a smile on their face some people are just like neutral so like like eh so let's just say you're an average person you know you're doing all right for yourself but you still have neutral energy so that negative energy, right, pushes you over the edge, right, and draws out more of your own negative, t your own negative energy, right, and pulls that out, okay, and amplifies it, okay, feeds off your fears, feeds off your anger, feeds off your dislike to towards anybody, and so on and so forth. Negative emotions, right, negative traits, negative emotions, it amplifies that, okay, and increases your negative energy and mixes up with their already manipulant energy, okay. So you're trying to free yourself from that or you have to free yourself from that if you're not already trying the queen of cups all right with the queen of cups you are very like you're very intelligent scorpio you're very intelligent you know what's best for yourself you know exactly how to take care of yourself you know exactly how to handle business and stuff like that handle important situations right so i hope you recognize that this is a very important situation okay i understand that maybe not everyone no not even maybe i understand that not everyone believes in this kind of stuff like tarot spellcraft which which work i actually got it mixed i got it mixed up it's witchcraft and then spell work <laughs> which work <laughs> well same difference you know uh, but you know like not everyone's as open-minded to this as other people are so that's and you know that's okay not everyone's gonna you know that just means that they're not gullible you know so but you know so basically you have to understand that stuff like this does exist because again you know it could be this earth has been here a lot here a lot longer than us okay so you have to remember that a lot of things could exist okay people be obsessing over bigfoot big could bigfoot could exist you know this earth has been here a lot longer than we have a whole bunch of crap has been here a lot longer than we have so you never know okay so when it comes to stuff like this like witchcraft and spell work that that does exist because again it used to be a thing in, in in ancient times so you have to understand that you need to protect yourself from this malevolent energy or any other future malevolent energies out there okay if you're this intelligent if you are if you are wise and, and and calm and mature and intelligent then you should understand in the queen of cups that you need to take this seriously all right the nine of cups all right you want to grow all right you want you have the potential for a lot of personal growth you have the potential to um excel you have the potential to do a lot of things in life okay you all right you know but again if you're not if you're not if you don't turn this seven and seven of pentacles in, um, into the upright position if you don't turn this into this which the upright seven of pentacles means that you know there's investing and you know good stuff and good times happening then yeah if you can't turn the reverse position into the upright position you're not gonna grow okay 
You're not going to grow. You have to put in the work for yourself so this nine of cups can be a reality, all right? To grow, right? Not just not just with money or career or just life in general, but with yourself, personal growth, okay? The five of wands in the reverse, okay? So with the five of wands in the reverse, there's conflict you are trying to avoid. So when somebody approaches you with like a topic or something or a hot button topic, you avoid it. Okay, you don't want to be you don't want to be open with it. You don't want to just br bring it out there. Let me take a sip of this, y'all. Go ahead, okay. Mm. Mm. In case any of you were curious about what drink I'm drinking, it's actually um Starbucks Frappuccino Caramel or Caramel Frappuccino. Okay. Yeah, that's what it is, in case you were curious. But, <clears throat> but yeah, you know, you don't want, maybe it's something you're trying to hide. Maybe it's something you don't want to let somebody know about. Maybe you're trying to keep it to yourself. And, you, and, that's, and I can understand, you know, keep your personal business to yourself. That's fine. That's understandable. But, you know, Scorpio, just remember that you can go to people you know you can trust. Like, there's people like you, like close friends or family members and stuff like that. You know, they don't have to believe in this stuff, okay? They don't have to, right? But they should just try to understand how you feel mentally, okay? Or emotionally, right? Even if they say bump all this crap, right? Bump tear it and bump spell work and da 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 Even if they don't believe in that kind of stuff, fine. But at the very least, if they are the close person to you or if you have any clo anyone close to go to, they should at least try to understand how you're feeling um, inside, okay? The seven of wands in the reverse, okay? All right? For a while, for a long time, you felt really isolated, okay? Because you were always fighting, you were always trying to protect yourself, and you are always trying to defend yourself, okay? Now, this time, in the seven of wands in the reverse, I'm seeing you're, just, you're still trying, but you're not as strong as you used to be, okay? Maybe you're, maybe you're getting tired, maybe, you're, maybe your energy is just low, maybe you feel like giving up, maybe you feel like, you know, no one's there for you, okay? But that is not true, Scorpio. You still got people out there who got your back. You know, it's just that maybe they're not understanding the situation 100%. Because, again, in the five of wands in the reverse, you're avoiding something, okay? You're avoiding conflict or maybe you're avoiding a hot-button topic. Maybe you're avoiding um, telling somebody the full story or full truth, right? So they can't really truly understand unless you just drop it all out there, okay? And, and if you have to, just do it in a way they'll understand, okay? All right, so you guys got the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. It feels like your hard work is not appreciated, okay? It feels like you working hard, working, let's say, nine to five and doing your thing, doing, like, you know, trying to make sure you're okay, doing everything that you need to do, right? It feels like it's all of it is still not appreciated. You feel like no one's taking you seriously, okay? The Page of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? With the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, you're not as motivated as you used to be. You're not as, um, what do you call it? There's a word I'm trying to find, but me and my vocabulary are not friends right now because it is about to be 7 in the morning. Um, mm, God. Oh, well, I tried. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, look, the bottom line is with the Page of Pentacles in their verse, you're not as motivated as you used to be. You know, you're not as opportunity seeking. You know, you're, you're really just trying to keep to you. You've been trying to keep to yourself and just handle your business. Stay out of everyone's face. Stay out of, stay out of everyone's way. And that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, you have to be honest about how you feel, what's going on in that head of yours. You have to be honest about what's going on. You have to be straight up. Otherwise, you all not, you're not going to find the clarity that you need. Okay? You have to be straight up. You have to be honest. You know, if you don't want to tell anybody, fine. But if somebody does come up to you and ask you, you have to be honest, okay? Don't beat around the bush about it. Just be straight out. The magician in the reverse. There's something or someone telling you that you can't do it, okay? That's most likely the negative energy just trying to get into your brain, right? Maybe maybe, maybe somebody, like somebody in the physical form is saying, oh, you can't do it, da 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 you're being stupid. Or the negative energy is amplifying your inner securities and telling you you can't do anything, right? You're stupid, you can't do this, you can't do that, right? That is why I keep telling you guys to cleanse the house. You need to cleanse the house. Release yourself from the manipulative force and the devil card in the reverse. And our last card says, 
judgment, okay? Judgment day will come, all right? Not for you, for them, okay? For the evil energy, okay? Or for people who did not take you seriously, or people who are just like belittling you, talking down to you, right? You're not crazy, you're not stupid, you know exactly what's going on, you know exactly what you're feeling, you know exactly what's going on in your head, right? So don't let anyone try to make you feel like you're talking crazy. You know exactly what you're talking about, okay? It's just that they don't have the patience enough to understand you, okay? So Scorpio, my advice, please just take care of yourself, please cleanse out your home, and just really try to um, clear out the negative energy, okay? And if that doesn't work, then I suggest going to a professional helper, like go to your local church, and hit up your um, 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 priest, priestess, okay, or priest or priestess, yes, okay. So Scorpio, I hope this did resonate with you. I hope this helped in any way. But if it did not resonate with you, I do apologize. Hopefully the next Scorpio reading will. Just buy a personal reading and make your life easier. But in the meantime, don't make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when I upload, all right? This has been the universe, Tarot. Namaste. Dangerous, no, I don't